to Mr. Bergman. Let's jump to here. Did you see this OpenSea launched a couple of new features on the collection page? What were they? Um, on the ranking page here, let me just make it a bit smaller because it, it, yeah. So if you look, when you go to like stats and rankings, right, when you look at 24 hour volume, yep. what they've added here is number of sales. Nice. That might have always been there. Unique owners, which was not there before, 64%, it works it out for you. And percentage of items listed. So 8% of the board API wow. collection is listed. Only 2% okay. of our punk derivative is listed. That's impressive. That is very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> other, uh, other deed, 4%. So that gives you a lot of key information. You know, we, we, I always point out in all my reviews that you want at least a 40% owner distribution. 50% yep. is good. 60% and above is great. So that gives yep. it to you. You can actually sort according to that. Mm -hmm. So how like can that. you have 100 how can you have 100% five owners? Okay, you're going to pick up a lot of shit. Sorry, a lot of rubbish here. <laughs> yeah. 98%, 97 Proof. I mean, look at that. 94% wow. owner ratio. That's really impressive. Jeez, FT Academy there. Neo Tokyo, 92%. Only 4% yep. listed. Everdome. 93%, only 1% listed. That's like good stats. Wow. Yeah. Jeez, that's a really so good. So it's just, a, it gives you good information. Admit one, 89% owner ratio, only 4% listed. It's interesting to search according Very to impressive. this, eh? Hey? Yeah, I wonder if that'll start to go get some sales for those projects that are up there on this new, on this new style of, uh, of rating, almost. Or ranking. Yeah. I mean, I personally think that owner ratio is very, very important. Just means it's it's harder to manipulate the floor price. Um, right. Damien Hurst, 82% uh, owner ratio, 5% of the of the collection listed. So as it's I mean it's hilarious. They 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 put one or two columns that are literally could be worked out in the Excel sheet, and everyone is like, "Yay!" <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's literally like stuff that they had the information. They literally just had to put a mass sum in there. Like uh, yeah. the collection size is ten thousand. There's five thousand owners. What percentage does that give you? Fifty percent. Boom. Here's a column, and everyone's like, "Yay!" They're like. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I love it. I love that. Anything is any any good news is great news. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. people are like, this is so cool. So I found that quite funny. The be the best thing that these guys did in the last God knows how long. I don't know why it keeps asking me to rethink. The best thing sure that these right guys one. is that the right no, one. I, okay. I did, no, no, of course. Um, is their collection wide offers? That's the yeah. best thing that they did, and they've yes, really, really stopped looks rare in their track because looks rare was the first. So this this feature here is the best thing that they've done since they launched their collection. I agree. Their their, I agree. their marketplace. And the nice thing is they went one level above, and they've made it that you can launch it according to traits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Which Tracer, looks I, I like that. Still doesn't have, yeah. Honestly, dude, looks rare just didn't have it. It didn't have that it factor. When I looked at looks rare, I was like, I don't want to use this. I don't like the UI. I don't like the color scheme. I don't like anything about it. It sucks because I liked it. I just didn't like how it looked and like how it operated. I just didn't. I don't know. It was weird. But those things matter. Also, I didn't enjoy using it. The problem is, is that when you used to anything like I was used to OpenSea, so were you. The first few times you use anything that's not OpenSea, you feel that. And it does take yeah, a little while. I, I did spend quite a bit of time on Looks Rare. Um, I still felt what you are saying, even after quite a bit of time. I didn't mm -hmm. enjoy the UI. Um, with that said, they were very, they were the first to do a token. They were the first to do collection offers. So for, for offers, they were the best. But now that's all fallen away. 
you know, like when I've been moving some big NFTs and trying to sell them, I look at the offers that I get on OpenSea, I look at the yeah. offers I get on Luxury, I look at X2Y2, the offers on OpenSea are still the highest. Out all, of the all, the are on X, all the brokies are on X2Y2 and looks rare. Well, X2 right is doing well, bro. They did almost yeah, as no. much as OpenSea. Yeah, they're crushing it. Um, because their fee their fees structure is a lot better. And they've also got their token. Yeah, as you said, OpenSea needs to launch a token. Bro. I don't know why That's they the, don't, bro. Them and MetaMask, you're right. Like, I don't know what they're doing. Like, why would you not? It makes so much sense. You could, it's just like ApeCoin. Like, you could just make ApeCoin, you could make OpenSea coin the, the, the transactional currency where MetaMask could do it. And like, okay, like now we have this coin. There's instant fucking utility here, which will drive up the price and like, everybody's happy. So and I'm not sure what they're doing, honestly. Especially OpenSea could raise up some fucking money for their, um, so they could pay their employees, dude. Like they could just rehire all their people if they just drop they the coin can, and make some money. They can pay their employees, man. They can pay them. They even when they let off the, those three people, the twenty percent of their workforce. I'm joking. <laughs> even when they even when they let off those X amount of people, and I feel very sorry for whoever was laid off. Like I always say, um, they said we've got enough money already for the next five years operating. So but why did they fire them? They just don't need I don't them, know. Like, That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, maybe it's an I, opportunity. Dude, Coinbase, I listened to that podcast with Lex Friedman. The Coinbase CEO told them, he was like, yeah, like a lot of times we'll have like $60 million cash on the side just because we don't know what's going to happen. He's like, crypto exchanges are very, very hard to manage because there's always millions of dollars being transacted at the exact same time every second. So he's like, to know how much liquidity you have within your own company he's like that's actually really hard to do so they keep 60 mil cash so i hope OpenSea has that same layout where they got money on the side <laughs> like just in cash just to be able to pay their stuff but i don't know maybe, maybe it's just a learning lesson maybe they just weren't ready for a crash like this and weren't prepared for i mean they were preparing for the moon they were literally preparing in case we go to the moon and that's what everyone was preparing for so the fact that we went opposite yeah. is uh you know but look i think when you've got it, it's very different when you've got a very big workforce. I don't personally. I do know personally a lot of companies that do. And I know with COVID, the guys that had, the, like friends of mine, people that I know who had more than 200 employees, any company I know that had more than 200 employees, two months into lockdown, had to start retrenching. Big time. Yeah. Because when it's when it's so big, when it's so many people, that bill every month is massive. So, you know, if you've got five staff members to keep paying them and you know you've you've managed well and that's fine. To to keep paying 200, 300, 400, 500 people when there's nothing or next to nothing coming in, you've got to you got to quickly. And the funny thing is then like six months or eight months later, when 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 it was relaxed and whatever, um, and, and people were starting to move on, they've started rehiring now, trying to find more people, right, to get back there. But they just couldn't take on that cost for for they had to do it immediately. So I, I don't know. As I said, I don't know big business like that, how it works. Yeah, know? that's tough. That's a tough one right there. Yeah, so we've got Anthony agreeing with us. We need a we need <laughs> a, a token to help us for the slow floor updates. Yeah, they're they're definitely they definitely have got a lot of issues, but yeah, it's one of those things that we don't they're until the something best. amazing comes along, they're still the best, unfortunately. Yeah. But, and they and they're building. They are building. You can see by so. their stats page. <laughs> if they if that one thing about the um freezing the assets if they fix that entirely yeah. that's not a problem then i really don't have a problem with open sea that's the one thing that i i fucking don't like like that's the reason i when i lost my world of women i didn't i didn't do anything because so i was like bro whoever it's going to be someone else who gets fucked if i try and make a big deal out of this even though it's my fault yeah. but like open sea needs to have something here where how you were saying where it's like oh this was transferred yeah. 30 seconds ago Maybe you yeah. shouldn't let this be so. Like, let's look into this, like that kind of thing. Transferred but, thirty seconds ago, and listed at ten percent out of floor. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Th those are, you know, those two things together. Yeah. So look, as we said, they are doing stuff about it. I wonder what effect this this having to open a police report will have because there's huge implications in that. If you falsify a police report, you can be arrested. I mean, you could be put yep. in jail for that. So, so, you know, it stops someone saying it's stolen if it hasn't been stolen. And also a lot of guys just couldn't be bothered to walk into a police station. So now they're saying, okay, we'll say Someone it's stolen. Someone stole my NFT. 
<laughs> yeah, but within <laughs> seven, but you can because in, in London they've said that NFT is property and is protected. Yeah. Um, so you can. So they're going to laugh at you, bro. Station, <laughs> bro, bro, your NFT could be worth two hundred thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you imagine you just like yo, my NFT is worth your salary. Help 